Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today we have a leaked manifest courtesy of videocards.com, which is showing some actual real world evidence of the existence of GTX 1080 Ti being a very real possibility as coming in the near future. This manifest, which was discovered just two days ago, shows a new SKU for a GPU sporting 10 gigabytes of video memory with a 384-bit memory bus. For those of you that aren't familiar, the Titan X Pascal, which retails for $1,200, has 12 gigabytes of DDR5X and a 384-bit memory bus. The thing that is pointing to this being a GTX 1080 Ti is, well, the fact that it has 10 gigabytes of video memory, which we haven't seen on any of the retail GPUs yet from NVIDIA, and also the SKU, which would indicate the GP102 chip, which is used on Titan X Pascal, which was previously the SKU was PG611 SKU00, and this is PG611 SKU10. So that PG611 really does point to this being a GP102 part, and having 10 gigabytes of video memory in the 384-bit memory bus really does make it look like this is a Titan X Pascal chip. And we also do have the shipping assessed value, which shows it at 68000 276 rupees, which if we convert that over to US dollars, it would be just over $1,000, $1,010.65 to be exact. So are we going to be seeing the GTX 1080 Ti very soon with 10 gigabytes of DDR5X cut down from the 12 gigabytes on Titan X Pascal? This would certainly be a uh, good place to put this GPU as it would put it right behind Titan X Pascal, but ahead of the GTX 1080. So a good middle of the road with the 10 gigabytes of video memory there, but still keeping the strong 384 bit memory bus like seen on Titan X Pascal, which I think would be really great to see. We'll probably see some CUDA cores shaved off as well. Titan X Pascal does have 3,584, which is more than the GTX 1080. So usually in the past, we have seen the CUDA core count get cut down as well. Um, so if we are seeing these ship with maybe maybe a few cu clusters of CUDA core, um, you know, cut off and 10 gigabytes of video memory shipping at around $1,000, would this be a card that a lot of you would go out there and pick up? Personally, I would want to go out and pick one up because um, the GTX 1080, which while when it came out was just an absolute monster of a GPU for my 1440p gaming needs, I even did a video on just how overkill it was for 1080p. But now just, you know, what is it, four or five months later since the card has actually come out, we're seeing it start to struggle in a lot of some of the newer games like, Dishon like Dishonored 2 barely keeping over 60 FPS at 1080p which does come down, you know, a lot to optimization on that game, but there has been other games where it's just really keeping over 60 frames even t even at 1080p. So, as a 1440p now single GPU gamer, which is not uh I'm not really keen to go back to SLI anytime soon because a lot of the games coming out now just don't really seem to be supporting it as well as in the past and even in the past it wasn't that great to begin with. Um so I I know I'm probably going to catch some hate for that from the SLI community. I apologize, but once I saw the performance on the single 1080 when I first got it, I was just like, I don't really need SLI anymore. But now at, with newer games coming out, I'm starting to be like, man, should I get SLI or should I go out and grab a Titan X, which I had been kicking around as an idea. But those are $1,200. You can get them over on the G-Force website. But but be careful, guys. It's only two per customer. So so all you money bags guys out there, I'm sorry, but you can only buy two at a time. So yeah. Um, but I wasn't really keen to go drop the $1,200. $1,000. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I really want one though. I mean, I have, I have a buddy with a Titan X Pascal, Kurt. He's the, uh, the original slunt himself. He knows who he is. He's got a Titan X Pascal and he's always rubbing his 1440p performance in my face when I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I'm holding over 60 FPS in this game. He's like, oh really? I'm getting like 80. Um, yeah, the Titan X Pascal is a monster of a GPU. So, you know, seeing a 10 gigabyte variant, uh, I would probably go out and pick one of those up day one, uh, not just, you know, for, for myself, but also obviously testing on the channel for you guys out there that would be interested in seeing that GPU tested in all of the newer games coming out. But how much would you pay for the GTX 1080 Ti given, you know, the specs that we know now, at least, um, with this shipping manifest having surfaced? 10 gigabytes of assumingly DDR5X and a 384-bit memory bus. And I guess you could probably assume that they're going to shave off like 128 uh, CUDA cores. That seems fairly consistent with what's shown up in the past. So 
Would you pay $1,000 for that? $900? You know, how much would you pay uh, for that GPU? I think $900 would be a, a good price point for it, but then I would probably have to see uh, maybe the, 10, the GTX 1080 get a price cut in there uh, as well. But $1,000 is, is quite a bit for a 1080 Ti, but um, the performance on these cards is certainly insane. But then you also have to consider that in probably a year's time, we'll have the next generation of cards coming out in Volta, and these cards will probably get cut down like almost half in price, just like we saw on the 980 Ti's, which you can now regularly find for around like $400. Really, really cheap now. Uh, you could find those cards, and they're still extremely powerful um, for 1080 and even 1440p gaming. But I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. Please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on this leaked manifest from videocards.com showing evidence of what could be the GTX 1080 Ti and what you'd be willing to pay for given the specs um, that we currently have, at least courtesy of the leaks. So, like I said, going to go ahead and get on out of here and enjoy my weekend, and I'll catch you guys next time. Turn.